come, you always have half peanut butter and half marmalade on your toast. Because I like it. How come your tattoo well is too small? Eat your breakfast. Right, come on in, let's get a wiggle on love. We're going to be late. For what? She's on holiday. Spending the day around at mate's, aren't you, love? Steve thought it might be good for her to get away from here for a while. Here is not the problem. <sighs> These are tight, aren't they? Hey, I know. Next time sales are on, how about you and me hit the Arndale Centre and burn a hole in your daddy's credit card, yeah? You shouldn't make promises you can't keep. What? You might not be around, then. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Mum. Don't call me your mum. I've done no wrong, Liz. Don't waste your breath. You might not like it, but it's the truth. How can you sit there banging on about the truth? After all the stunts you've pulled? I might have made a few mistakes, but at least I've never been caught selling... Don't even go there! Have it your way. So what were you? What do you think? All I know is you went AWOL last night and you've been in the right mood ever since. Where'd you go? I went to see Hooch. Tell me you aren't know stupid. Define stupid. Cheers, Ty. I appreciate it, mate. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm just asking Ty not to cover for us. Why are you up somewhere? I thought I might have a drive out to Cheshire today. Look at a few properties. You want to come? I'm working. We'll throw a sick here. They won't know. Anyway, Rose is a shareholder. Hardly going to sack you, is she? I won't put it past that. OK, I'll go on my own. Are you serious? I told you yesterday I was. I thought you might have changed your mind by now. Well, maybe it's the right time for us, you know. Move on, make a fresh start. Other people do it. So, are you going to phone or shall I? You're a very bad man, Kevin Webster. Ah, what about you, son? Just going to see Stephen. Uh, he's gone out with Becky. Oh, where? I don't know, I'm afraid. What about your mother? Is she in? She is, yeah, but the uh, uh, mood she's in, you probably might be best leaving it for a bit. Oh, I see, right. Well, old stir fry. Oh, hi. Very dashing. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I wore it. Probably in court. And if you don't find a job today, don't be disappointed. It might take a while. I hope not, eh? See ya. So what sort of things are you looking for then? Locksmith, drug rep. Why do you have to be like that? What's wrong with you? Me? He's the pillhead. The one who lied to you, then stole from you, and then broke into the medical centre. He's ill. He's a mentalist. Mum, what's he going to do for an encore? Stick on one of your frocks and then go eating all the light bulbs. At least he's trying to change. I'm telling you now, get rid of him. Or you're going to regret it. I've just stuck kettle on. Do you fancy a brew, love? Uh, no, I'll get me own. I'm not going to drop an E in it, if that's what you're worried about. Look, Betty. I know you saw me giving Slug some money, but it weren't what you think. Look, look, I might be old, but I'm not daft. Where the hell have you been? I have been a busy boy. I've sorted out a meeting with a solicitor this afternoon. <laughs> what? I don't think I'm not grateful, cos I am, but you're just wasting your money. Hey! You were set up. We're gonna find out who it was. We know who it was. Well, it can't have been Hooch. Not on his own, anyway. How would he have got the stuff in your bag without anyone seeing him? Well, who else would have done it? Well, who else doesn't like you? <laughs> Your mum. All right. Well, there's loads. Michelle? Well, she wasn't here. Anyway, she wouldn't have done that. How about Kelly? Too thick. How about Slug? No, he's my mate. Well, he was. 
He was in here that morning. What? Mm. On my wedding day, day at Ray, are you mm. sure? Like I said, love, I might be old, <laughs> but I'm not daft. Right, come on. Where? We're going to go and pay your mate a visit. Thanks very much, love. Ta-da. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, you look a bit delicate. Yes, yeah, so well, I think I, I overdid it at the cafe. A full English breakfast, no less. Uh, well, I've got to make the most of the local cuisine while I still can. So what can I do for you? I, I was wondering if I might use the shop computer. Uh, this is not a cyber cafe. Have you met Igor? No, anyway, what, what did you want it for? I was going to look up some flights. Oh. Oh, well, in that case, you'd uh, better come through. I'm surprised he didn't offer to fly the plane. Are you OK? No. I think Ramsay's is making a mistake. Well, have you told him that? Oh, how can I? He's under enough pressure as it is. Right. Flights to Australia. One way. Just my luck if Tony saw us now. I'll tell them we've got all the doctors. What, dressed like this? That was a hint, by the way. You look gorgeous, sir. Cheshire, here we come. So to like help to support, you know, the support group, you know, like we're telling you about, we're having a fate and stuff, and we were going to. Um... We wondered if Dev would donate a hamper. Molly. Molly. Not now. Eh? Sorry. Just leave it, will you? Do you think I were too hard sell? Hiya. You right? You have to work. Sort of. Just going for a bit of a clear out of the flat. Need any help, man with a van? Yeah, uh, no, you're all right. Look, Jason, we don't have to be mates. But I'd really like to try and help put it right with you and Tina. How's your back? It's good. Yeah? Good enough for some heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it'd be better going for that one. Uh, oh, the one you've underlined in red? that uh, leaves the day after tomorrow. Hmm. Uh, that, that'll be it. You miss your calling, Norris. Could have been a travel agent. Ah, but luckily for you, I chose the retail trade. And for that, I shall die a happy woman. Going for lunch. So you've made your mind up, then, about going back? That's for the best. You'll be missed by a lot of people. Not by Norris. Oh, we don't count him. <laughs> Look, I normally don't get involved in family arguments, but you shouldn't let him force you to go back if it's not what you want. Where else would I go? Do you really need me to answer that? Let me do the talking, yeah? Don't just go steaming in there, right? What are you standing up for for? Because I don't think he'd do this. Well, not to me anymore. Becky, we're talking about a guy named Slug. Hey! Come on. Are you just browsing? No, or? I'm uh, looking for Slug. Um, Neil, he works for you. Neil? Someone for you? Right, remember, let me do the talking, you. Yeah? Oh, that's not him. Come again? Um, no, another Neil. Neil Ackroyd is about that tall, brown hair. Small eyes, thin face, a bit like a rat. <laughs> well, this is the only Neil we got. Are you sure this is the right place? Yeah, I'm positive. Oh my god. He did it, didn't he? <sighs> he set me up. <laughs> Oh, the, the 
harassing in squats, the begging and stealing to get by, all the fighting and the drugs. And then there were the bad times. Look, this could work for us. How? Well, because it's not just your word against Hooch anymore, is it? Now we know who helped him. Steve, I'm breaking myself. Let's just see what the solicitor says, eh? Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry I thumped you in that shot before. Oh, it's all right. I'm sorry I burnt a fag hole in your favourite top. Uh, you told me I did that when I was bladdered. Does this solicitor do divorces? You're late. I'm not even supposed to be working today. So where are you going? Dental hygiene, this. I have my teeth cleaned and polished twice a year. Couldn't you just put them in a jiffy bag and post them in? Oh, is that meant to be funny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I was in a good mood till I came in. Oh, and dare one ask why? Present. Oh, Jason. Oh, it's a charm bracelet, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, well, I hope he's kept the receipt, because it obviously isn't working. Now, that is for me. Mm. All right. So that's off Dimshaw, is it? How many guys on Crane did it take him to get it? <laughs> what, am I going to get the sound treatment every time I come in here? If I'm serving. Look, what happened with your dad? I was only trying to help him out. The only person you help out is yourself. Now, do you want that or not? You know what? Stuff you, your dad, and your poxy magazine. So he just turns up there, and they haven't even heard of him? So he lied about where he worked? Yes. And he was in the pub the same day the drugs were planted <laughs> in your bag. Yes, but he put them there. Did anyone witness that? No. But this copper, Detective Constable Hooch, Hooch. Yes, he has got it in for Becky. So he either paid Slug off or threatened him to put the drugs in her bag. And this Slug is willing to stand up in court and admit to conspiracy to supply drugs and attempting to pervert the course of justice. Well, we don't know, because no one knows where he is. I'm sorry, but this is just speculation. No jury will believe it. I thought I was paying you £150 an hour to help us. I'm also paid in an advisory capacity. And I'm advising you, Mrs. MacDonald, to prepare yourself for a custodial sentence. Oh, well, that were a waste of time. You could tell that estate agent didn't think you could afford any of them houses. We couldn't. Oh, well, she didn't know that, did she? Fat cow. Well, we can look at some other places. What, cheaper places, you mean? It don't have to be Cheshire, does it? Maybe we should just accept that this is the best we can do, for now, anyway. I mean, at least our job's around here and Sophie's school. And we have got the only house with a conservatory, so we don't have to move, do we? No. Well, then. What's the rush? Tina? Yeah? Have you seen your dad? No. Why? He went to the job centre this morning and I've not seen him since. I've, I've rung his mobile, I've been to the Rovers. Dale. I mean, it's just with everything that's happened, I... Dale. All right, girlies, fancy a ride? What did I say? What about you, son? Your mother told me I'd find you out here. Listen, then. Auntie's getting ready to go, so he is. You look tired, Stephen. Yeah, well, gets a bit knackering trying to look on the bright side. Becky said you've seen a brief. <laughs> Felt a lot of good that did. I mean, we know who set her up. We even know who planted the gear. Is that your man Slug, the fellow who disappeared? Yeah. So we tell the solicitor this, and he says that it won't make a difference. I mean, he couldn't give a toss what happens as long as he's getting paid. But it's not even him. I'm angrier. You know, my wife is getting sent to prison for something she didn't do, and I can't do anything at all. How many men have you got working for you at the cab company, son? I don't know, 15 with part time. 15. And how many cab companies are there in Manchester? Dozens. Why? Well, if I was looking for someone, they'd be the boys I'd go and ask for help, so I would. 
Yep. Right, don't you worry your head, son, it'll be all right. Oh, come on, soft lads, break it up, will you? Got a plane to catch me, ain't I, eh? Um, you got any photos of Slug? Might have. Why, do you want one for dartboard? Nope. I want to make a load of copies of him and give them to every cab driver in Manchester. Did you know your son was a flipping genius? Well, he never inherited my looks, so he had to make up for it somehow, eh? A pint and a small white wine, please, Betty. Um, I'll get these. You should have made it a large one. No, you don't have to. I do. I was totally out of order this morning, and I will have a word with Dev about donating a hamper, OK? Thank you. Well, go on, have a seat. I'll bring them over. So... Has he been strong-armed into booking a flight yet? Not yet, but he's going to, unless we can change his mind. I was thinking of asking Steve, or for chipping a couple of kegs of beer for fate. That's a great idea. Maybe we could get Becky to sell some crack. Hey, you haven't seen any of the factory lot in here, have you? I don't think so, will I? Just pulled a sickie. <laughs> oh, yeah. What have you two been up to, then? We've been viewing properties in Cheshire. Cheshire? It's a bit of property. Well, for some, maybe. So did you see any nice flats, then? You're not off, are you, mate? Actually, we've decided against it, what with the current climate and everything. I knew you'd never leave this place. Hey, it was Kevin's idea to move. Oh, cheers, Molly. Took a few. Uh, thanks, but I've just remembered something. See you later. I went to the job centre, there was nothing happening there, so I came home, I bumped into Jason and I ended up giving him a hand. I didn't know you were worrying about us. Well, why would I? Everything's been going so well lately. What am I supposed to do? Call you every time I leave the house? I'm better now. You're just going to have to trust me. I'm not sure I can. What? I'm tired, Joe. I'm sick of sleepless nights. I'm not sure I can do it anymore. I'm going for a bath. Just leave her alone. What's your problem now? You, and your skank of a daughter. Don't push me, David. Look, do you know something? As bad as things were, me and Mum were a lot better off before either of you two showed up. You're not wanted here, either of you. So do us all a favour and just get lost, will you? Again, I, I'm sure that Peter would help us well. Taxi's here. I'm off. <gasps> Already? I know. Oh, well, safe journey and call the minute you get back. I will. I mean it. Yeah, I mean. Well. See you in a minute. Yep. Uh, well, uh, Elizabeth, I'm uh, way on to the airport as well, so I'll just say my goodbyes now, eh? Yeah, right. You take care of yourself. Right. You too. Rita, don't be annoyed, but I think I've just volunteered us to help with the fate. You see? This is what happens when you buy her drinks. She can't say no. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? No, it's for a good cause, I suppose. Hey, maybe we can donate Norris. <laughs> <laughs> or give him away in the raffle. <laughs> That's the booby prize. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh at him. What? After the way he's treated you? I'm surprised you're even talking to him. I'm sorry, but it's true. Oh, I know. But I don't want to fight anymore. Life's too short. Yes. So why are you letting him dictate yours, then? Sorry? Look, hand on heart, can you honestly say you'd rather go back to Australia than stay here? Well, I think you know the answer to that. So why don't you stop looking for flights? Start looking for somewhere to live. Thanks for coming to the wedding. Ah, oh, well, just try and make sure this one lasts, eh, Steve? I can't afford all the presents, mate. See you later, Bob. Well, son, all the best. Really? And I hope things work out for you and Becky, I really do. Thank you. See you, son. See you. <coughs> Elizabeth. 
You didn't think I was going to let you leave without saying a proper goodbye, did you? Uh, just checking, I've still got my wallet. Oh. I'll see you soon, Elizabeth. You okay? Fat lot you care. Look, Steve, about what happened this morning. Save your apologies. Oh, I'm going to apologise. I just wanted to say the next time you bite me head off, just leave it until Amy's out of the room, eh? Oh, have I missed him? Mm. Yeah, sorry, baby, I didn't know where you'd No, I'm sorry. It's just I was taking his room apart looking for this. Brilliant. Right, first thing tomorrow, I'll run up a load of copies, put a contact number on the back and give it every cab firm and taxi rank in Manchester. We will find him. Well, tomorrow night and something of an energetic fling is in store when Beatrice signs up as a life model for a local painter. We all know what that means in Kingdom at nine o'clock. Next tonight, though, an old vendetta leads to an armed kidnap for the bill to deal with in just a moment. <laughs> 